Marshal Dadajura. Chapter 446 Everyone Meeting Everyone, To Be Honest, If I Fight Him Alone, I Wouldn't Be Afraid of Him At All. But the Sword God Valley has a Sword God Formation. This formation, from what I've heard, was left behind by the first head of the Sword God Valley. This Sword God Formation is very profound, and also very powerful. It harmonizes with the Sword God Valley's unique mysterious technique. When the Sword God Formation starts up, everyone who has cultivated the Sword God Valley's mysterious technique will have a great increase in strength. Anyway, the power of this Sword God Formation has been rumored to be godlike. As for how strong it is, I'm not too sure, but I'm sure it is definitely not weak. To be honest, facing the Sword God Formation, I do not have confidence to fight the Sword God Valley alone. So, I want to cooperate with you too. After all, Junior Chu Feng also has that duty. Humph. On what basis do we trust you on? What if you are with that Sword God Valley? Zi Ling still had an appearance of not forgiving Zhang Tiani. Ho. Sister in law, oh sister in law. You've also seen my strength. No matter how strong your and Junior Chu Feng's martial cultivations are, or how powerful the methods you grasp are, after all, the time you have been cultivating is short. Compared to the current I, the two of you are still a bit weaker. If I wanted to take care of you too, why do I need to go through such trouble? I can apprehend you too right now. Zhang Tani smilingly said. Come. Try. If I get serious, you may not be able to defeat me. Zi Ling's little face reddened from anger. Junior Chu Feng, look. Control the sister-in-law a bit. Seeing that, Zhang Tiani didn't really know what to do. Facing females who disregarded reason, he could do nothing. Zi Ling, don't make any more messes. I'm sure that you also know Senior Zhang is not a bad person. Chu Feng smiled and patted Zi Ling's shoulders. Zi Ling was rather obedient, and she indeed stood behind Chu Feng. Like a little bird that relied on a human, she no longer spoke. Senior Zhang, actually, even if you didn't come and find me, I would have really wanted to find you. My thoughts are the same as yours. We should join hands and go to the Sword God Valley together and let them know that we aren't people who are fun to bully. Just now, Chu Feng kept on using his spirit power to detailedly observe Zhang Tiani's fluctuations in emotions. It seemed like the words he said weren't lies. Besides, it was as Zhang Tiani said. With his current strength, if he truly wanted to take care of Chu Feng and Zi Ling, there was no need to go through such troubles. Just now, he could have put the two of them to death. So, Chu Feng chose to believe Zhang Tiani. Haha, <laughs> as expected of another disciple of the Azure Dragon School. We brothers truly think similarly. Since it is like so, why not depart right now? Looking at the days, it's roughly the same as the date the Sword God Valley set as the limit. I don't want the remains of the Azure Dragon School seniors to be thrown into a pool of crap because of the problems I made. As he spoke, Zhang Tiani scratched his head and his face was filled with shame. But in his similarly fierce gaze, there was a hint of yearning. Senior Zhang, Zi Ling's exquisite chariot has extremely fast speed. We can absolutely make it within the time limit the Sword God Valley set. Before that though, why not accompany me and greet some people? I believe there are some people you want to meet as well. After confirming that Zhang Tiani wasn't an enemy, Chu Feng decided to also bring Zhang Tiani into the Thousand Bone Graveyard. In that place, the Azure Dragon founder was there as fortification. Even if Zhang Tiani had malicious intentions, he was absolutely not afraid. Besides, Chu Feng felt that Zhang Tiani wasn't a person who had a malevolent heart. Who? Indeed, after hearing those words, Zhang Tiani's face was filled with curiosity. Quickly after, in order for Zhang Tiani to not feel too ashamed, Chu Feng first narrated the events of what happened to Zhang Tiani. For example, even though the Azure Dragon School was exterminated, in reality, it was still surviving because at present, the core power of the Azure Dragon School was in the Thousand Bone Graveyard. In that place, there were special cultivation resources that could help everyone quickly increase their cultivations. 
Also, he even told Zhang Tiani about the Azure Dragon founder still surviving as a consciousness as well as the sisters Su Ro and Su Mei getting injured. After all, the Azure Dragon founder was the founder of the Azure Dragon School. A thousand years ago, he swept through the continent. He was an existence that no one didn't know about, so it was likely that anyone would be shocked if they knew he was still living. As for Su Ro, she was the person who created the Wings Alliance along with Zhang Tiani. So Zhang Tiani would be quite familiar with her. Junior Chu Feng, what you've said is true. My Azure Dragon School's founder is still in this world right now? Indeed, after knowing that the Azure Dragon founder was still living, Zhang Tiani's face instantly became brighter. It's true. Senior Zhang, if you are willing to, you can accompany me and pay respects to the founder. Chu Feng seriously nodded his head. Yes, of course I want to see him. At first, the reason why I joined the Azure Dragon School was because I admired the Azure Dragon founder too much. Right now, since he is actually still in this world, how can I not see him? Junior Chu Feng, quickly lead the way. Zhang Tani excitedly said. It could be seen that he was truly impatient and wanted to see the people Chu Feng talked about. Especially the Azure Dragon founder who swept through the continent a thousand years ago. Quickly afterwards, Chu Feng led Zi Ling and Zhang Tiani to the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. At present, the vast Azure Dragon Mountain Range was also destroyed into chaos. The forests that filled the mountains were burnt into charcoal and they were completely unrecognizable. But with Chu Feng's memories, he still found the entrance to the Thousand Bone Graveyard. After the three entered the Thousand Bone Graveyard, the people inside were all greatly shocked. Chu Feng, Tani, you two? You two got together? After the head of the Azure Dragon School, Li Zhongqing, and Zhuge Luyun saw Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani, they were extremely excited. It was because Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng could be said to be the most excellent disciples they had seen before, and their cultivation similarly greatly astounded them. At first, when Zhang Tiani left, he was still in the profound realm. Right now, he was already in the third level of the Heaven Realm. That cultivation, in the Azure province, was absolutely like an existence of a god. No one could be compared to him in several hundred years. As for Chu Feng, he left for just a bit over a year, but he had already stepped into the sixth level of the profound realm from the Origin Realm. His improvement could be said to be godly quick and it caused people to feel disbelief. After seeing Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani, everyone was endlessly happy because the two of them were the legends of the Azure Dragon School. They were the disciples' targets of idolization. Existences that even elders admired. This lady is? But at the same time, Zi Ling obviously attracted people's attention. Her peerless beauty was really too outstanding. No matter where, she attracted others nonetheless. She is my fiancé. Chu Feng introduced her to everyone from the Azure Dragon School as well as to his own family members. And at the same time Chu Feng introduced her, Zi Ling sweetly smiled. Beautiful, cute, gentle, amiable, and extremely likable. Haha, <laughs> good good good. Boy, you found quite a good wife. Knowing that Zi Ling was actually Chu Feng's fiancé, the head of the Azure Dragon School, Li Zhongqing, and Zhuge Luyun, Chu Guyu, Chu Yu, Chu Zhen, Chu Qing, and the others were all elated. It was because Zi Ling's beautiful appearance was simply unrivaled in the world. Besides, throwing away Zi Ling's beauty and not discussing about it, her cultivation was the first level of the Heaven Realm. It meant that Zi Ling was an exceptional genius. A woman like that was simply perfect. Being able to be together with a female like her, how could others not be happy for Chu Feng? At the same time, they were happy for Chu Feng, there were even no small number of males who were also deeply jealous of Chu Feng. After all, a beauty like Zi Ling could be said to be the goddess in many men's hearts. Which one of them wouldn't want to have her? But in their lives, they had no chance and they could only admire Chu Feng and hiddenly dream about it. 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 446 Everyone Meeting Everyone 
To be honest, if I fight him alone, I wouldn't be afraid of him at all. But the Sword God Valley has a Sword God formation. This formation, from what I've heard, was left behind by the first head of the Sword God Valley. This Sword God formation is very profound and also very powerful. It harmonizes with the Sword God Valley's unique mysterious technique. When the Sword God formation starts up, everyone who has cultivated the Sword God Valley's mysterious technique will have a great increase in strength. Anyway, the power of this Sword God formation has been rumored to be godlike. As for how strong it is, I'm not too sure, but I'm sure it is definitely not weak. To be honest, facing the Sword God formation, I do not have confidence to fight the Sword God Valley alone. So, I want to cooperate with you too. After all, Junior Chu Feng also has that duty. Humph. On what basis do we trust you on? What if you are with that Sword God Valley? Zi Ling still had an appearance of not forgiving Zhang Tiani. Ho. Sister-in-law oh sister-in-law. You've also seen my strength. No matter how strong your and Junior Chu Feng's martial cultivations are or how powerful the methods you grasp are, after all, the time you have been cultivating is short. Compared to the current I, the two of you are still a bit weaker. If I wanted to take care of you too, why do I need to go through such trouble? I can apprehend you too right now. Zhang Tani smilingly said. Come. Try. If I get serious, you may not be able to defeat me. Zi Ling's little face reddened from anger. Junior Chu Feng, look. Control the sister-in-law a bit. Seeing that, Zhang Tani didn't really know what to do. Facing females who disregarded reason, he could do nothing. Zi Ling, don't make any more messes. I'm sure that you also know Senior Zhang is not a bad person. Chu Feng smiled and patted Zi Ling's shoulders. Zi Ling was rather obedient, and she indeed stood behind Chu Feng. Like a little bird that relied on a human, she no longer spoke. Senior Zhang, actually, even if you didn't come and find me, I would have really wanted to find you. My thoughts are the same as yours. We should join hands and go to the Sword God Valley together and let them know that we aren't people who are fun to bully. Just now, Chu Feng kept on using his spirit power to detailedly observe Zhang Tiani's fluctuations in emotions. It seemed like the words he said weren't lies. Besides, it was as Zhang Tiani said. With his current strength, if he truly wanted to take care of Chu Feng and Zi Ling, there was no need to go through such troubles. Just now, he could have put the two of them to death. So, Chu Feng chose to believe Zhang Tiani. Haha, <laughs> as expected of another disciple of the Azure Dragon School. We brothers truly think similarly. Since it is like so, why not depart right now? Looking at the days, it's roughly the same as the date the Sword God Valley set as the limit. I don't want the remains of the Azure Dragon School seniors to be thrown into a pool of crap because of the problems I made. As he spoke, Zhang Tiani scratched his head and his face was filled with shame. But in his similarly fierce gaze, there was a hint of yearning. Senior Zhang, Zi Ling's exquisite chariot has extremely fast speed. We can absolutely make it within the time limit the Sword God Valley set. Before that though, why not accompany me and greet some people? I believe there are some people you want to meet as well. After confirming that Zhang Tiani wasn't an enemy, Chu Feng decided to also bring Zhang Tiani into the Thousand Bone Graveyard. In that place, the Azure Dragon founder was there as fortification. Even if Zhang Tiani had malicious intentions, he was absolutely not afraid. Besides, Chu Feng felt that Zhang Tiani wasn't a person who had a malevolent heart. Who? Indeed, after hearing those words, Zhang Tiani's face was filled with curiosity. Quickly after, in order for Zhang Tiani to not feel too ashamed, Chu Feng first narrated the events of what happened to Zhang Tiani. For example, even though the Azure Dragon School was exterminated, in reality, it was still surviving because at present, the core power of the Azure Dragon School was in the Thousand Bone Graveyard. In that place, there were special cultivation resources that could help everyone quickly increase their cultivations. 
Also, he even told Zhang Tiani about the Azure Dragon founder still surviving as a consciousness as well as the sister Su Ro and Su Mei getting injured. After all, the Azure Dragon founder was the founder of the Azure Dragon School. A thousand years ago, he swept through the continent. He was an existence that no one didn't know about, so it was likely that anyone would be shocked if they knew he was still living. As for Su Ro, she was the person who created the Wings Alliance along with Zhang Tiani. So Zhang Tiani would be quite familiar with her. Junior Chu Feng, what you've said is true. My Azure Dragon School's founder is still in this world right now? Indeed, after knowing that the Azure Dragon founder was still living, Zhang Tiani's face instantly became brighter. It's true. Senior Zhang, if you are willing to, you can accompany me and pay respects to the founder. Chu Feng seriously nodded his head. Yes, of course I want to see him. At first, the reason why I joined the Azure Dragon School was because I admired the Azure Dragon founder too much. Right now, since he is actually still in this world, how can I not see him? Junior Chu Feng, quickly lead the way. Zhang Tani excitedly said. It could be seen that he was truly impatient and wanted to see the people Chu Feng talked about. Especially the Azure Dragon founder who swept through the continent a thousand years ago. Quickly afterwards, Chu Feng led Zi Ling and Zhang Tiani to the Azure Dragon Mountain Range. At present, the vast Azure Dragon Mountain Range was also destroyed into chaos. The forests that filled the mountains were burnt into charcoal and they were completely unrecognizable. But with Chu Feng's memories, he still found the entrance to the Thousand Bone Graveyard. After the three entered the Thousand Bone Graveyard, the people inside were all greatly shocked. Chu Feng, Tani, you two? You two got together? After the head of the Azure Dragon School, Li Zhongqing, and Zhuge Luyun saw Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani, they were extremely excited. It was because Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng could be said to be the most excellent disciples they had seen before, and their cultivation similarly greatly astounded them. At first, when Zhang Tiani left, he was still in the profound realm. Right now, he was already in the third level of the Heaven Realm. That cultivation, in the Azure Province, was absolutely like an existence of a god. No one could be compared to him in several hundred years. As for Chu Feng, he left for just a bit over a year, but he had already stepped into the sixth level of the Profound Realm from the Origin Realm. His improvement could be said to be godly quick and it caused people to feel disbelief. After seeing Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani, everyone was endlessly happy because the two of them were the legends of the Azure Dragon School. They were the disciples' targets of idolization. Existences that even elders admired. This lady is? But at the same time, Zi Ling obviously attracted people's attention. Her peerless beauty was really too outstanding. No matter where, she attracted others nonetheless. She is my fiancé. Chu Feng introduced her to everyone from the Azure Dragon School as well as to his own family members. And at the same time Chu Feng introduced her, Zi Ling sweetly smiled. Beautiful, cute, gentle, amiable, and extremely likable. Haha, <laughs> good good good. Boy, you found quite a good wife. Knowing that Zi Ling was actually Chu Feng's fiancé, the head of the Azure Dragon School, Li Zhongqing, and Zhuge Luyun, Chu Guyu, Chu Yu, Chu Zhen, Chu Qing, and the others were all elated. It was because Zi Ling's beautiful appearance was simply unrivaled in the world. Besides, throwing away Zi Ling's beauty and not discussing about it, her cultivation was the first level of the Heaven Realm. It meant that Zi Ling was an exceptional genius. A woman like that was simply perfect. Being able to be together with a female like her, how could others not be happy for Chu Feng? At the same time, they were happy for Chu Feng, there were even no small number of males who were also deeply jealous of Chu Feng. After all, a beauty like Zi Ling could be said to be the goddess in many men's hearts. Which one of them wouldn't want to have her? But in their lives, they had no chance and they could only admire Chu Feng and hiddenly dream about it. Martial God Azura Chapter 447 Forward to the Sword God Valley Where's the Ancestor? 
as the crowd heartily surrounded them and after chatting for a while, only then did Chu Feng notice that the Azure Dragon founder was not there. Oh. He's strengthening the power of the Sealing Spirit Formation. Recently, the situation of Su Ro and Su Mei is getting more and more unstable. As that matter was mentioned, a touch of worry and helplessness appeared onto Zhuge Liuyin's face. After knowing that, Chu Feng's face instantly changed and he hurriedly brought Zi Ling towards the formation that sealed Su Ro and Su Mei. Seeing that, the others also hurriedly followed. After arriving in front of the formation, Chu Feng discovered that the Azure Dragon founder was indeed guarding at that place. He was currently channeling power at the formation, but perhaps because he was a consciousness, no matter how much stronger he was when he was alive, currently, his power didn't really follow command of his heart. Senior, let me help you. Seeing that, Zi Ling, who was also a Blue Cloak World Spiritist, went up without even thinking and used practiced spirit formation methods to help the Azure Dragon founder strengthen the power of the formation. Mm? After seeing Zi Ling, a hint of astonishment also passed through the Azure Dragon founder's eyes. It was because Zi Ling was very young, yet she already became a Blue Cloak World Spiritist at that age. It was simply something that hadn't appeared before in the Azure Dragon Founders era. Besides, Zi Ling's cultivation was very overwhelming as well. She entered the first level of the Heaven Realm at that age. It was something that similarly never happened before in his era. So, that was why the Azure Dragon Founder was astonished, because he felt like he saw an extremely outstanding genius. That genius would surpass his generation, and far surpass him. Ancestor, she is called Zi Ling. She is my fiancé. Just at that time, Chu Feng walked up. From his Cosmo sack, he took out a large amount of spirit formation rocks. Those things could make the spirit formation even stronger. Oh? Such an excellent girl is actually your fiancé? Boy, your luck is truly not shallow. Haha, <laughs> much better than mine. Only after seeing Chu Feng did the Azure Dragon founder know who Zi Ling was. He first satisfiedly nodded his head, then quickly after, looked at Chu Feng. Immediately, a hint of amazement flashed into his eyes as he said with shock. With the time of one year, you stepped into the sixth level of the profound realm? Your speed of breaking through simply exceeds my predictions. Heh, luck. Chu Feng smilingly scratched his head. Boy, you're just being modest, right? But I like it very much. This means that I wasn't mistaken. The Azure Dragon founder satisfiedly smiled and after meaningfully looking at Chu Feng and Zi Ling, who was next to him, a touch of yearning had actually emerged into his eyes, as if the day to his own revival was already not far. Afterwards, the Azure Dragon founder did not say any more useless words. Like Zi Ling, he concentrated on strengthening the formation. At that time, Chu Feng, who was a Grey Cloak World Spiritist, could really not help much. He could only look through the gaps of the chain's formations inwards at Su Ro and Su Mei, who were greatly suffering. Right now, Su Ro and Su Mei's situation got even worse than a year ago. One had skin that was like ice with layers of frost covering it, whereas the other had fiery red skin that gave off bursts of heat. Their faces and figures could no longer be seen, and they simply didn't look like a human anymore. More or less, it was a bit scary. Seeing the current Su Ro and Su Mei, then recalling and connecting them with their former beautiful appearances, Chu Feng's heart felt pain as if it was being stirred around with a knife. If it wasn't to save himself, there was no need for the two of them to be feeling the pain right now. Finally, the formation strengthening was finished. The people from the Azure Dragon School, Chu Feng's family, as well as Su Ro and Su Mei's father and elder brother, got closer to one another. They could truly be said to be happily gathered together and ecstatic. After Zhang Tiani saw the Azure Dragon founder, he was extremely excited and ceaselessly expressed emotions of admiration at the Azure Dragon founder. And the Azure Dragon founder also liked Zhang Tiani a lot. He gave him a very high rating. It was that Zhang Tiani's future achievements would definitely far surpass him in his own peak moments. 
Of course, at the same time, he also gave ratings to Chu Feng and Zi Ling. Similarly, they were very high. In short, the continent would undoubtedly be unable to contain Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani. The three of them would step onto the even vaster stage. After hearing the Azure Dragon founder's appraisals, almost everyone on scene widened their mouths from amazement because his appraisals were really high. After that, Zhang Tiani and the Azure Dragon founder chatted alone for a while, then afterwards, got together with the crowd and started to talk about the stories that happened to the Azure province recently. He first talked about his own heroic deeds, then talked about what Chu Feng did. For every single thing, the crowd kept on shouting out in surprise, and from excitement, their hairs uncontrollably stood up straight. Many people even strongly gulped. More and more, they felt that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were too strong. They simply surpassed their imaginations and did things that they didn't even dare to dream of. But as the crowd learned about those things, the ones most proud and excited were none other than Chu Guyu, Chu Yu, Chu Qing, Chu Zhan, and the other Chu family members. Thinking back at first, how many of them looked down on Chu Feng and felt that he was too trash-like, that he lost their Chu family's face, and also lost their faces. But now, they were proud because of Chu Feng. Not only was it because Chu Feng was so strong, even their strengths greatly increased because of Chu Feng. If it was before, they could simply not imagine that they would have their current cultivations. In reality, in one year, everyone had very huge improvements. By cultivating in the essence pool for a year, their cultivations had extremely great advancements. It could be said that everyone improved with rapid speeds. Even the dull people before, in terms of martial cultivation, became a lot smarter now. It also meant that with the assistance of the essence pool, their martial cultivation talents had actually been raised. But as they were indulged in joy, Chu Feng, from start to finish, was unable to raise his spirits because there was always one thing packed in his heart. Especially after seeing Su Rao and Su Mei's present appearances, the thing in his heart became incomparably heavy, even to the point of suffocation. So, Chu Feng went up to the formation alone again. He guarded that place and silently looked at Su Rao and Su Mei who were in the formation. Don't worry. Within one year, I will definitely save you. If I, Chu Feng, cannot save you, I will die with you. Seeing the beautiful sisters in the spirit formation, the eyes of the usually strong-minded Chu Feng was actually a bit moist. He couldn't help making that decision in his heart. If he could not save Su Rao and Su Mei, he, Chu Feng, would absolutely not force himself to continue living. I can tell they were very beautiful when they were healthy. Suddenly, a voice as pleasant to listen to as a silver bell rang out behind Chu Feng. Turning his head around to look, Zi Ling already appeared behind Chu Feng. After seeing Chu Feng, Zi Ling sweetly smiled, then quickly after, cutely sat next to Chu Feng, together with him. Not only were the beautiful, they treated me very well. They only became how they are right now because of me. Chu Feng said. If it was me, I would do that as well, and if it was you, for us, you would do the same thing. Zi Ling sweetly smilingly said. Seeing such an understanding Zi Ling, Chu Feng really did not know what to say. So, he didn't say anything at all. He brought the outstanding little beauty into his embrace. Zi Ling, like a little bird relying on a person, leaned in Chu Feng's embrace. Just like that, for a night, Chu Feng and Zi Ling guarded the outside of Su Rao and Su Mei's ceiling formation. Zhang Tiani, on the other hand, chatted with laughters for a night with the disciples and elders of the Azure Dragon School as well as with Chu Feng's family. In the second morning, after Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani ate breakfast with his family members in the Thousand Bone Graveyard, they said their farewells to the crowd, sat on the exquisite chariot, and hurried towards the Sui province. Because, the Sui province was where the Sword God Valley was located in. 630485 Beft B9 8 C 9622 D 6 C 69 Chapter 447 Forward to the Sword God Valley Where's the ancestor? As the crowd heartily surrounded them and after chatting for a while, 
only then did Chu Feng notice that the Azure Dragon founder was not there. Oh. He's strengthening the power of the Sealing Spirit Formation. Recently, the situation of Su Ro and Su Mei is getting more and more unstable. As that matter was mentioned, a touch of worry and helplessness appeared onto Zhu Galiuyan's face. After knowing that, Chu Feng's face instantly changed, and he hurriedly brought Zi Ling towards the formation that sealed Su Ro and Su Mei. Seeing that, the others also hurriedly followed. After arriving in front of the formation, Chu Feng discovered that the Azure Dragon founder was indeed guarding at that place. He was currently channeling power at the formation, but perhaps because he was a consciousness, no matter how much stronger he was when he was alive, currently, his power didn't really follow command of his heart. Senior, let me help you. Seeing that, Zi Ling, who was also a Blue Cloak World Spiritist, went up without even thinking and used practiced spirit formation methods to help the Azure Dragon founder strengthen the power of the formation. Mm? After seeing Zi Ling, a hint of astonishment also passed through the Azure Dragon founder's eyes. It was because Zi Ling was very young, yet she already became a Blue Cloak World Spiritist at that age. It was simply something that hadn't appeared before in the Azure Dragon Founders era. Besides, Zeeling's cultivation was very overwhelming as well. She entered the first level of the Heaven Realm at that age. It was something that similarly never happened before in his era. So, that was why the Azure Dragon Founder was astonished, because he felt like he saw an extremely outstanding genius. That genius would surpass his generation, and far surpass him. Ancestor, she is called Zi Ling. She is my fiancé. Just at that time, Chu Feng walked up. From his Cosmo sack, he took out a large amount of spirit formation rocks. Those things could make the spirit formation even stronger. Oh? Such an excellent girl is actually your fiancé? Boy, your luck is truly not shallow. Haha, <laughs> much better than mine. Only after seeing Chu Feng did the Azure Dragon founder know who Zi Ling was. He first satisfiedly nodded his head, then quickly after, looked at Chu Feng. Immediately, a hint of amazement flashed into his eyes as he said with shock. With the time of one year, you stepped into the sixth level of the profound realm? Your speed of breaking through simply exceeds my predictions. Heh, luck. Chu Feng smilingly scratched his head. Boy, you're just being modest, right? But I like it very much. This means that I wasn't mistaken. The Azure Dragon founder satisfiedly smiled and after meaningfully looking at Chu Feng and Zi Ling, who was next to him, a touch of yearning had actually emerged into his eyes, as if the day to his own revival was already not far. Afterwards, the Azure Dragon founder did not say any more useless words. Like Zi Ling, he concentrated on strengthening the formation. At that time, Chu Feng, who was a great cloak world spiritist, could really not help much. He could only look through the gaps of the chain's formations inwards at Su Ro and Su Mei, who were greatly suffering. Right now, Su Ro and Su Mei's situation got even worse than a year ago. One had skin that was like ice with layers of frost covering it, whereas the other had fiery red skin that gave off bursts of heat. Their faces and figures could no longer be seen, and they simply didn't look like a human anymore. More or less, it was a bit scary. Seeing the current Su Ro and Su Mei, then recalling and connecting them with their former beautiful appearances, Chu Feng's heart felt pain as if it was being stirred around with a knife. If it wasn't to save himself, there was no need for the two of them to be feeling the pain right now. Finally, the formation strengthening was finished. The people from the Azure Dragon School, Chu Feng's family, as well as Su Ro and Su Mei's father and elder brother, got closer to one another. They could truly be said to be happily gathered together and ecstatic. After Zhang Tiani saw the Azure Dragon founder, he was extremely excited and ceaselessly expressed emotions of admiration at the Azure Dragon founder. And the Azure Dragon founder also liked Zhang Tiani a lot. He gave him a very high rating. It was that Zhang Tiani's future achievements would definitely far surpass him in his own peak moments. Of course, at the same time, he also gave ratings to Chu Feng and Zi Ling. 
similarly, they were very high. In short, the continent would undoubtedly be unable to contain Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani. The three of them would step onto the even vaster stage. After hearing the Azure Dragon founder's appraisals, almost everyone on scene widened their mouths from amazement because his appraisals were really high. After that, Zhang Tiani and the Azure Dragon founder chatted alone for a while, then afterwards, got together with the crowd and started to talk about the stories that happened to the Azure province recently. He first talked about his own heroic deeds, then talked about what Chu Feng did. For every single thing, the crowd kept on shouting out in surprise, and from excitement, their hairs uncontrollably stood up straight. Many people even strongly gulped. More and more, they felt that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were too strong. They simply surpassed their imaginations and did things that they didn't even dare to dream of. But as the crowd learned about those things, the ones most proud and excited were none other than Chu Guyu, Chu Yu, Chu Chung, Chu Zhan, and the other Chu family members. Thinking back at first, how many of them looked down on Chu Feng and felt that he was too trash-like, that he lost their Chu family's face, and also lost their faces. But now, they were proud because of Chu Feng. Not only was it because Chu Feng was so strong, even their strengths greatly increased because of Chu Feng. If it was before, they could simply not imagine that they would have their current cultivations. In reality, in one year, everyone had very huge improvements. By cultivating in the essence pool for a year, their cultivations had extremely great advancements. It could be said that everyone improved with rapid speeds. Even the dull people before, in terms of martial cultivation, became a lot smarter now. It also meant that with the assistance of the essence pool, their martial cultivation talents had actually been raised. But as they were indulged in joy, Chu Feng, from start to finish, was unable to raise his spirits because there was always one thing packed in his heart. Especially after seeing Su Rao and Su Mei's present appearances, the thing in his heart became incomparably heavy, even to the point of suffocation. So, Chu Feng went up to the formation alone again. He guarded that place and silently looked at Su Rao and Su Mei who were in the formation. Don't worry. Within one year, I will definitely save you. If I, Chu Feng, cannot save you, I will die with you. Seeing the beautiful sisters in the spirit formation, the eyes of the usually strong-minded Chu Feng was actually a bit moist. He couldn't help making that decision in his heart. If he could not save Su Rao and Su Mei, he, Chu Feng, would absolutely not force himself to continue living. I can tell they were very beautiful when they were healthy. Suddenly, a voice as pleasant to listen to as a silver bell rang out behind Chu Feng. Turning his head around to look, Zi Ling already appeared behind Chu Feng. After seeing Chu Feng, Zi Ling sweetly smiled, then quickly after, cutely sat next to Chu Feng, together with him. Not only were the beautiful, they treated me very well. They only became how they are right now because of me. Chu Feng said. If it was me, I would do that as well, and if it was you, for us, you would do the same thing. Zi Ling sweetly smilingly said. Seeing such an understanding Zi Ling, Chu Feng really did not know what to say. So, he didn't say anything at all. He brought the outstanding little beauty into his embrace. Zi Ling, like a little bird relying on a person, leaned in Chu Feng's embrace. Just like that, for a night, Chu Feng and Zi Ling guarded the outside of Su Rao and Su Mei's ceiling formation. Zhang Tiani, on the other hand, chatted with laughters for a night with the disciples and elders of the Azure Dragon School as well as with Chu Feng's family. In the second morning, after Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani ate breakfast with his family members in the Thousand Bone Graveyard, they said their farewells to the crowd, sat on the exquisite chariot, and hurried towards the Sui province. Because, the Sui province was where the Sword God Valley was located in. Martial God Azura Chapter 448 Geniuses Arrive The news of the Sword God Valley digging up the tombs of the Azure Dragon School's ancestors and using the remains of the Azure Dragon School's seniors and Chu family to threaten Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani was already known throughout the continent of the nine provinces. 
After the news was known, the experts from the powers everywhere all wanted to know whether the two most famous characters of the young generation right now in the continent of the nine provinces, Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani, would appear in the Sword God Valley or not. If they appeared, there would definitely be a shocking huge battle. So, people from all directions hurried to the Sword God Valley and wanted to witness the huge battle. The Sword God Valley also widely opened its gates and welcomed the guests who came from everywhere, as if wanting to let everyone be able to witness how Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were going to die by the hands of the Sword God Valley. However, the distance to the date the Sword God Valley set got closer and closer, but Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani had yet to appear. That caused people to guess one after another. Many people felt that Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng were afraid of the Sword God Valley and wouldn't come to that place for the seniors of the Azure Dragon School and the Chu family's bones. That they were cowards. There were also people who felt that it was all within expectations. After all, no matter how much more powerful Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were, they were still of the young generation. How were they able to defeat the Sword God Valley? If they dared to come, they would be coming to their deaths and it would not be really worth it to die for the remains of those who were already dead. But no matter how people guessed, from start to finish, no one was willing to leave the Sword God Valley. Rather, there were more and more people who came to the Sword God Valley, and at the end, even the Sword God Valley could not contain all those powerful people. So, the experts camped outside of the Sword God Valley and left the last hint of expectation on the bottom of the hearts. Expecting that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani could, before the final time limit, come to this place for the battle so that they, who came over from quite far away, could have a feast for their eyes and see a wonderful huge battle. Finally, the last day arrived. That day was the final day of the one month limit the Sword God Valley set. The elders and disciples of the Sword God Valley entered an alert state, and the experts from everywhere also entered the Sword God Valley. Ah, uh, I never would have thought that the Sword God Valley truly brought the remains of the Chu family and the Azure Dragon School seniors back here. I wonder which one of those remains is the Azure Dragon founders. After all, he was the number one person a thousand years ago who swept through the continent, the most famous senior expert in the continent of the nine provinces. I never expected that after death, he even has to receive such humiliation. As they looked at the bones, which were covered by curse engravings, in the middle of the Sword God Valley being hung up high on frames, people discussed one after another. Because, underneath those bones, there was a huge pool. That pool emitted an extremely strong stench, attracting a large number of flies and mosquitoes. It was a pool of crap. The Sword God Valley was truly insane. The words they released before were all serious. If Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani didn't come today, it was likely that they would throw the remains into the pool of crap so that the owners of the remains would stink for 10,000 years. Time passed bit by bit and at the start, people still held their patience, but when the sun was up high and when the time reached noon, even the head of the Sword God Valley could not keep his patience. He rose, stood in the air, then loudly cursed, Zhang Tiani, Chu Feng, you two bastards. You have the guts to kill my son, you have the guts to kill my disciples, but you don't have the guts to come to my sword god valley to openly fight. You two bastards only have this bit of ability? You can only do shady things in the dark behind people's backs? Damn eight generations of your ancestors. The voice of the head of the sword god valley resonated through the horizon and it was even louder and clearer than the noise of thunder. People several hundred miles outside could hear his cursing. And as the head of the Sword God Valley cursed, a white a gray-haired fat old man with a shiny face sat on a tall stage near the pool of crap. He had one leg over the other, was drinking tea, and seemed very calm. That person was the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. He was an expert in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm. He was also the father of the head of the Sword God Valley, Morong Yu's grandfather and the person who found the Divine Wood Sword. At first, shortly after he got the Divine Wood Sword, the Sword God Valley released word saying that he already died, but in reality, he was taking the benefits he got from the cliff and cultivating in isolation. 
Several months ago, when the sword god Valley announced that he was still living, it indeed raised quite a commotion. But looking at it now, the old ancestor of the sword god Valley didn't even put the matter of feigning death in his heart, or else he wouldn't be as calm and at ease like he was now. Following the flow of time, the sun in the sky also shifted to the west. Noon became afternoon, and the head of the sword god Valley had already insulted for a good two hours. Even he was tired from yelling. With a stomach filled with anger and resentment, he landed in the sword god Valley. Ah, looking at this, Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani are truly not coming. What a shame to be unable to see the glory of these two exceptional geniuses. What exceptional geniuses? They are two cowards. They disregard even their own families and school seniors' remains. Can they even be counted as persons? No matter how much better talent these kinds of people have, it is impossible for cowards to have any achievements. They will only be disasters if they live. They should receive the contempt of the world. Seeing that time passed bit by bit, many powerful people who specially hurried over could not hold their patience as well. Many people felt that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani weren't coming and couldn't avoid feeling pity. They didn't feel pity for wasting time to come over, but felt pity because they were unable to see the glory of two outstanding geniuses. The ones with good temper sighed in a low voice, but the ones with bad temper just started cursing and felt that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were both despicable people. No matter how much more martial cultivating talent two cowards had, their futures were limited. Rumble 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 rumble. However, just at that time, bursts of rumbling suddenly sounded out from the distant horizon. The sound was very strange, as if it was sound made from the boundless horizon by an enormous thing. Wah, what's that? It's a chariot. It's actually a chariot. Looking over at the direction the rumbling came from, they discovered that a chariot, which had immense might, was crushing the air as it headed towards them. Chariot? When Chu Feng and Zi Ling were creating chaos in the Fire God School, I heard they rode a chariot to escape. Is it possible that they are coming? Finally, someone recognized the chariot, because at that instant, the chariot that appeared in the horizon was exactly the same as the one Zi Ling and Chu Feng sat on before. It was the exquisite chariot. So indeed, they still came. It's Chu Feng and Lady Zi Ling? What about Zhang Tani? Has he come? After confirming that it was Chu Feng and Zi Ling, everyone's depressed and low spirits immediately became incomparably excited. It was because they knew that a good show was going to start. Before, they heard various rumors about Chu Feng and various miracles. But today, they were going to personally see Chu Feng's strength. They knew that even if Chu Feng and Zi Ling weren't able to defeat the many experts of the Sword God Valley, they would definitely serve a feast for the eyes with an entertaining great battle. Rumble Finally, after the exquisite chariot arrived above the Sword God Valley, it halted in the air. When the doors to the chariot opened, three figures also appeared in everyone's line of sight. It was Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani. Look! It's Chu Feng. That young man is Chu Feng. They instantly recognized Chu Feng because his wanted posters were already posted throughout the continent of the nine provinces, and almost everyone knew what Chu Feng's appearance was like. Then the beautiful female standing next to Chu Feng is Lady Zi Ling? I heard Lady Zi Ling has beauty that can destroy cities and countries and lower all the females in the world. Looking at her today, it is indeed like so. There is actually such a gorgeous female in the world. Chu Feng and Zi Ling has come, so that man is definitely Zhang Tani? It's Zhang Tani, absolutely no mistake. Look. Isn't that the foundation treasure of the sword god Valley, the divine wood sword, behind his back? If it was said that everyone was excited when they saw the exquisite chariot, then when they personally saw Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani, their excitement definitely reached the peak. 630485 Beft B9 8C 9622 D6 C69 Chapter 448 Geniuses Arrive 
The news of the sword god Valley digging up the tombs of the Azure Dragon School's ancestors and using the remains of the Azure Dragon School's seniors and Chu family to threaten Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani was already known throughout the continent of the Nine Provinces. After the news was known, the experts from the powers everywhere all wanted to know whether the two most famous characters of the young generation right now in the continent of the Nine Provinces, Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani, would appear in the Sword God Valley or not. If they appeared, there would definitely be a shocking huge battle. So, people from all directions hurried to the Sword God Valley and wanted to witness the huge battle. The Sword God Valley also widely opened its gates and welcomed the guests who came from everywhere, as if wanting to let everyone be able to witness how Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were going to die by the hands of the Sword God Valley. However, the distance to the date the Sword God Valley set got closer and closer but Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani had yet to appear. That caused people to guess one after another. Many people felt that Zhang Tiani and Chu Feng were afraid of the Sword God Valley and wouldn't come to that place for the seniors of the Azure Dragon School and the Chu family's bones. That they were cowards. There were also people who felt that it was all within expectations. After all, no matter how much more powerful Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were, they were still of the young generation. How were they able to defeat the Sword God Valley? If they dared to come, they would be coming to their deaths, and it would not be really worth it to die for the remains of those who were already dead. But no matter how people guessed, from start to finish, no one was willing to leave the Sword God Valley. Rather, there were more and more people who came to the Sword God Valley, and at the end, even the Sword God Valley could not contain all those powerful people. So, the experts camped outside of the Sword God Valley and left the last hint of expectation on the bottom of the hearts. Expecting that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani could, before the final time limit, come to this place for the battle so that they, who came over from quite far away, could have a feast for their eyes and see a wonderful huge battle. Finally, the last day arrived. That day was the final day of the one-month limit the Sword God Valley set. The elders and disciples of the Sword God Valley entered an alert state and the experts from everywhere also entered the Sword God Valley. Ah, I never would have thought that the Sword God Valley truly brought the remains of the Chu family and the Azure Dragon School seniors back here. I wonder which one of those remains is the Azure Dragon founders. After all, he was the number one person a thousand years ago who swept through the continent the most famous senior expert in the continent of the Nine Provinces. I never expected that after death, he even has to receive such humiliation. As they looked at the bones, which were covered by curse engravings, in the middle of the Sword God Valley being hung up high on frames, people discussed one after another. Because, underneath those bones, there was a huge pool. That pool emitted an extremely strong stench, attracting a large number of flies and mosquitoes. It was a pool of crap. The Sword God Valley was truly insane. The words they released before were all serious. If Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani didn't come today, it was likely that they would throw the remains into the pool of crap so that the owners of the remains would stink for 10,000 years. Time passed bit by bit and at the start, people still held their patience, but when the sun was up high and when the time reached noon, even the head of the Sword God Valley could not keep his patience. He rose, stood in the air, then loudly cursed, Zhang Tiani, Chu Feng, you two bastards. You have the guts to kill my son, you have the guts to kill my disciples, but you don't have the guts to come to my sword god valley to openly fight. You two bastards only have this bit of ability? You can only do shady things in the dark behind people's backs? Damn eight generations of your ancestors. The voice of the head of the Sword God Valley resonated through the horizon and it was even louder and clearer than the noise of thunder. People several hundred miles outside could hear his cursing. And as the head of the Sword God Valley cursed, a white a gray-haired fat old man with a shiny face sat on a tall stage near the pool of crap. He had one leg over the other, was drinking tea, and seemed very calm. That person was the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. He was an expert in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm. He was also the father of the head of the Sword God Valley, Morong Yu's grandfather, and the person who found the Divine Wood Sword. 
At first, shortly after he got the Divine Wood Sword, the Sword God Valley released word saying that he already died, but in reality, he was taking the benefits he got from the cliff and cultivating in isolation. Several months ago, when the Sword God Valley announced that he was still living, it indeed raised quite a commotion. But looking at it now, the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley didn't even put the matter of feigning death in his heart, or else he wouldn't be as calm and at ease like he was now. Following the flow of time, the sun in the sky also shifted to the west. Noon became afternoon, and the head of the Sword God Valley had already insulted for a good two hours. Even he was tired from yelling. With a stomach filled with anger and resentment, he landed in the Sword God Valley. Ah, looking at this, Chu Feng and Zhang Tani are truly not coming. What a shame to be unable to see the glory of these two exceptional geniuses. What exceptional geniuses? They are two cowards. They disregard even their own families and school seniors' remains. Can they even be counted as persons? No matter how much better talent these kinds of people have, it is impossible for cowards to have any achievements. They will only be disasters if they live. They should receive the contempt of the world. Seeing that time passed bit by bit, many powerful people who specially hurried over could not hold their patience as well. Many people felt that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani weren't coming and couldn't avoid feeling pity. They didn't feel pity for wasting time to come over, but felt pity because they were unable to see the glory of two outstanding geniuses. The ones with good temper sighed in a low voice, but the ones with bad temper just started cursing and felt that Chu Feng and Zhang Tiani were both despicable people. No matter how much more martial cultivating talent two cowards had, their futures were limited. Rumble 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 rumble. However, just at that time, bursts of rumbling suddenly sounded out from the distant horizon. The sound was very strange, as if it was sound made from the boundless horizon by an enormous thing. Wah, what's that? It's a chariot. It's actually a chariot. Looking over at the direction the rumbling came from, they discovered that a chariot, which had immense might, was crushing the air as it headed towards them. Chariot? When Chu Feng and Zi Ling were creating chaos in the Fire God School, I heard they rode a chariot to escape. Is it possible that they are coming? Finally, someone recognized the chariot because at that instant, the chariot that appeared in the horizon was exactly the same as the one Zi Ling and Chu Feng sat on before. It was the exquisite chariot. So indeed, they still came. It's Chu Feng and Lady Zi Ling? What about Zhang Tani? Has he come? After confirming that it was Chu Feng and Zi Ling, everyone's depressed and low spirits immediately became incomparably excited. It was because they knew that a good show was going to start. Before, they heard various rumors about Chu Feng and various miracles. But today, they were going to personally see Chu Feng's strength. They knew that even if Chu Feng and Zi Ling weren't able to defeat the many experts of the Sword God Valley, they would definitely serve a feast for the eyes with an entertaining great battle. Rumble Finally, after the exquisite chariot arrived above the Sword God Valley, it halted in the air. When the doors to the chariot opened, three figures also appeared in everyone's line of sight. It was Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani. Look! It's Chu Feng. That young man is Chu Feng. They instantly recognized Chu Feng because his wanted posters were already posted throughout the continent of the nine provinces and almost everyone knew what Chu Feng's appearance was like. Then the beautiful female standing next to Chu Feng is Lady Zi Ling. I heard Lady Zi Ling has beauty that can destroy cities and countries and lower all the females in the world. Looking at her today, it is indeed like so. There is actually such a gorgeous female in the world. Chu Feng and Zi Ling has come, so that man is definitely Zhang Tani? It's Zhang Tani, absolutely no mistake. Look. Isn't that the foundation treasure of the Sword God Valley, the Divine Wood Sword, behind his back? If it was said that everyone was excited when they saw the exquisite chariot, then when they personally saw Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani, their excitement definitely reached the peak. 
Marshal Gadajura. Chapter 449, The Great Battle Begins He, he, he actually came. After Chu Feng and the others appeared, although the outsiders were excited, the people from the Sword God Valley were clearly a bit nervous. Especially the disciples and elders with slightly weak strength. They were more or less afraid. After all, in this period of time, Chu Feng's name was really too strong. There was an uncountable number of people who died by his hands, and it left quite a few shadows in the disciples' and elders' hearts. Besides, today, Chu Feng and the others clearly had unkind intentions by coming. Chu Feng, Zhang Tani, you two have done many evils, committed many sins, and killed countless people. Do you know your crimes? Just at that time, a voice that wasn't too loud yet contained extremely powerful might suddenly rang out. It was the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. At that instant, the Sword God Valley disciples that were afraid before immediately calmed down because they felt that the strength of the old ancestor was definitely able to easily take care of the three people in the air. As for the people who wanted to watch an entertaining great battle, they tightly furrowed their brows because at a time like this, what they hoped for was both sides to have equal strengths, but clearly, with the old ancestor overseeing everything, Chu Feng and the other's chants had already become very distant. You should know in your heart why I, Chu Feng, aim my attacks at your sword god valley. You are clear who's wrong and who's right. Today, I have not come here to fight with words. I advise that the disciples and elders of the sword god valley to leave because I, Chu Feng, will start a great massacre today. If there are any people who don't want to die, you can still make it if you leave right now. If not, don't blame me for being ruthless and heartless later. Chu Feng said. Haha, <laughs> quite big words you have there. No wonder you are rumored to be arrogant. After seeing you today, it is indeed like so. Don't worry. You won't have the chance to start a great massacre, but this place will definitely be your place of burial. The old ancestor of the Sword God Valley confidently smiled, then quickly afterwards, he cast his gaze towards Zi Ling, who was by Chu Feng's side, and said, Lady Zi Ling, there is no enmity between my Sword God Valley and you. I don't want to injure you, so leave right now. Or else, don't blame my Sword God Valley for not restraining ourselves back. Although the old ancestor of the Sword Go Valley was very strong, he also knew that Zi Ling's grandfather, Zi Xianyuan, was not a character who was easy to deal with. So, more or less, he feared Zi Ling. It was also why after Zi Ling and Chu Feng invaded the Fire God School together, the powers everywhere aimed the spearhead back at Chu Feng, yet no one put Zi Ling on a wanted poster. I am Chu Feng's fiancé. His enemy is my enemy. Your sword god Valley is treating Chu Feng like this, insulting his seniors and bullying his family. How can you dare say that there is no enmity? To be honest, there is only one goal why I, Zi Ling, have come here today. It is the same as Chu Feng's, to start a great massacre in your sword god Valley. Whoosh. As she spoke, within Zi Ling's beautiful eyes, a hint of fierceness suddenly appeared. With a thought, with the might of a elite armament, the exquisite chariot dropped down from the sky and with a boom, it landed on a crowd of many Sword God Valley disciples. The descent of the chariot was too sudden, so they were still unable to react to it, causing over a dozen of people to be crushed alive. At the same time, layers of dazzling, golden, brutally powerful ripples ceaselessly came out of the exquisite chariot. It swept out and engulfed over a thousand disciples. The people who were engulfed by the golden ripples kept on crying out in pain and the agony made them wish they were dead. With a blink, their bodies were shattered, being killed by the might of the exquisite chariot. It seems like Zi Xianyuan has truly brought you up poorly by having a demon-like granddaughter like you. Today, I'll give a naughty girl like you a lesson in his place so you will not cause chaos for the world and kill the innocent. Seeing that over a thousand of his valley's disciples and elders were slaughtered in an instant, the face of the former sword god valley head changed as he took the lead to rise into the air and started to attack Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani. The old ancestor of the sword god valley did not use any martial skills. 
He only emanated his aura of the sixth level of the heaven realm, but even so, the places his aura passed still shocked the heaven and earth, and even the sky was unable to hold back the might of his aura and twisted from the pressure. Seeing such horrifying might, people who did not belong to the Sword God Valley hurriedly left the Sword God Valley and escaped outwards, because even after the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley attacked, Zi Ling still didn't stop her exquisite chariot and the chariot was still insanely slaughtering the elders and disciples from the Sword God Valley. You are merely in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm, yet you dare to speak such mad words? You want to give this a lesson and give that a lesson? Today, I, Zhang Tani, will give you a lesson. Just at that time, Zhang Tani coldly smiled, then quickly after, pulled out the divine wood sword from his back and with a slice, ten thousand symbols formed a blade of light and forcibly cut the aura of the sword god Bali's old ancestor. Quickly afterwards, Zhang Tani leaped, and while holding the divine wood sword, with floating light surrounding his body as well as with the unique might of the elite armament, he directly flew towards the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. Humph. You, a young person in the third level of the Heaven Realm, truly think you're invincible in this world? Today, the three of you will die here. The old ancestor of the Sword God Valley coldly snorted. With a flash of light from his hand, a huge silver-colored sword appeared in his hand. The sword was two feet wide and three meters tall. It was a true huge sword. Although it wasn't a elite armament, it was still made by special materials, and it was a rarely found sharp weapon. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The huge sword should originally be incomparably heavy, but in the hands of the sword god Valley's old ancestor, it was as light as feather. Very casually, he moved it and as he waved it, the tip of the sword very rapidly became tens of thousands of bright, beautiful sword blurs as he fought against Zhang Tani's divine wood sword. Zhang Tani, you dared to kill my son. Hand your life over. Suddenly, another burst of limitless might was plucked from the ground. The head of the sword god Valley attacked. His hatred of Zhang Tani had already entered his bones because his own son was killed by Zhang Tani. Even when he dreamed, he wished to kill Zhang Tani. Right now, Zhang Tani appeared in front of him. Naturally, he could not control his own fury. With terrifying bloodlust as well as the aura of the fifth level of the Heaven Realm, he was aiming to dash into the circle of battle between Zhang Tani and his own father. Whoosh, but before he neared Zhang Tani, a beautiful figure stopped in front of him. It was Zi Ling. They are facing each other. What are you disturbing them for? Zi Ling was already covered by the purple-colored aura and horrifying divine body power was emitted. Although she still had a sweet smile, within her purple-colored pupils, killing intent was overflowing. Ah, uh, and as he was hesitating, bursts of miserable cries rang out from the Sword God Valley. It was Chu Fong. The current Chu Fong was running straight towards the core of the Sword God Valley, because Chu Feng's families as well as the Azure Dragon School's senior's remains were all at the core of the Sword God Valley. However, Chu Fong did not descend from the sky. He dashed to the bottom of the Sword God Valley, and as he ran, the people from the Sword God Valley were all mercilessly killed by him. 630485BFB98C9622D6C69 Chapter 449 The Great Battle Begins He, he, he actually came. After Chu Feng and the others appeared, although the outsiders were excited, the people from the Sword God Valley were clearly a bit nervous especially the disciples and elders, with slightly weak strength. They were more or less afraid. After all, in this period of time, Chu Feng's name was really too strong. There was an uncountable number of people who died by his hands, and it left quite a few shadows in the disciples and elders' hearts. Besides, today, Chu Feng and the others clearly had unkind intentions by coming. Chu Feng, Zhang Tani, you two have done many evils, committed many sins, and killed countless people. Do you know your crimes? Just at that time, a voice that wasn't too loud yet contained extremely powerful might suddenly rang out. It was the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley. 
At that instant, the sword god valley disciples that were afraid before immediately calmed down because they felt that the strength of the old ancestor was definitely able to easily take care of the three people in the air. As for the people who wanted to watch an entertaining great battle, they tightly furrowed their brows because at a time like this, what they hoped for was both sides to have equal strengths, but clearly, with the old ancestor overseeing everything, Chu Feng and the other's chance had already become very distant. You should know in your heart why I, Chu Feng, aim my attacks at your sword god valley. You are clear who's wrong and who's right. Today, I have not come here to fight with words. I advise that the disciples and elders of the sword god valley to leave because I, Chu Feng, will start a great massacre today. If there are any people who don't want to die, you can still make it if you leave right now. If not, don't blame me for being ruthless and heartless later. Chu Feng said. Haha, <laughs> quite big words you have there. No wonder you are rumored to be arrogant. After seeing you today, it is indeed like so. Don't worry. You won't have the chance to start a great massacre, but this place will definitely be your place of burial. The old ancestor of the Sword God Valley confidently smiled, then quickly afterwards, he cast his gaze towards Zi Ling, who was by Chu Feng's side, and said, Lady Zi Ling, there is no enmity between my Sword God Valley and you. I don't want to injure you, so leave right now. Or else, don't blame my Sword God Valley for not restraining ourselves back. Although the old ancestor of the Sword Go Valley was very strong, he also knew that Zi Ling's grandfather, Zi Xian Yuan was not a character who was easy to deal with. So, more or less, he feared Zi Ling. It was also why after Zi Ling and Chu Feng invaded the Fire God School together, the powers everywhere aimed the spearhead back at Chu Feng, yet no one put Zi Ling on a wanted poster. I am Chu Feng's fiancé. His enemy is my enemy. Your sword god Valley is treating Chu Feng like this, insulting his seniors and bullying his family. How can you dare say that there is no enmity? To be honest, there is only one goal why I, Zi Ling, have come here today. It is the same as Chu Feng's, to start a great massacre in your sword god Valley. Whoosh. As she spoke, within Zi Ling's beautiful eyes, a hint of fierceness suddenly appeared. With a thought, with the might of a elite armament, the exquisite chariot dropped down from the sky and with a boom, it landed on a crowd of many sword god valley disciples. The descent of the chariot was too sudden, so they were still unable to react to it, causing over a dozen of people to be crushed alive. At the same time, layers of dazzling, golden, brutally powerful ripples ceaselessly came out of the exquisite chariot. It swept out and engulfed over a thousand disciples. The people who were engulfed by the golden ripples kept on crying out in pain and the agony made them wish they were dead. With a blink, their bodies were shattered, being killed by the might of the exquisite chariot. It seems like Zi Xian Yuan has truly brought you up poorly by having a demon-like granddaughter like you. Today, I'll give a naughty girl like you a lesson in his place so you will not cause chaos for the world and kill the innocent. Seeing that over a thousand of his valley's disciples and elders were slaughtered in an instant, the face of the former sword god valley head changed as he took the lead to rise into the air and started to attack Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tiani. The old ancestor of the sword god valley did not use any martial skills. He only emanated his aura of the sixth level of the heaven realm, but even so, the places his aura passed still shocked the heaven and earth and even the sky was unable to hold back the might of his aura and twisted from the pressure. Seeing such horrifying might, people who did not belong to the Sword God Valley hurriedly left the Sword God Valley and escaped outwards, because even after the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley attacked, Zi Ling still didn't stop her exquisite chariot and the chariot was still insanely slaughtering the elders and disciples from the Sword God Valley. You are merely in the sixth level of the Heaven Realm, yet you dare to speak such mad words? You want to give this a lesson and give that a lesson? Today, I, Zhang Tiani, will give you a lesson. Just at that time, Zhang Tiani coldly smiled, then quickly after, pulled out the divine wood sword from his back and with a slice, ten thousand symbols formed a blade of light and forcibly cut the aura of the sword god Valley's old ancestor. Quickly afterwards, Zhang Tiani leaped, 
and while holding the divine wood sword, with floating light surrounding his body as well as with the unique might of the elite armament, he directly flew towards the old ancestor of the sword god Bali. Humph. You, a young person in the third level of the heaven realm, truly think you're invincible in this world? Today, the three of you will die here. The old ancestor of the sword god Bali coldly snorted. With a flash of light from his hand, a huge silver-colored sword appeared in his hand. The sword was two feet wide and three meters tall. It was a true huge sword. Although it wasn't a elite armament, it was still made by special materials, and it was a rarely found sharp weapon. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The huge sword should originally be incomparably heavy, but in the hands of the sword god Valley's old ancestor, it was as light as feather. Very casually, he moved it and as he waved it, the tip of the sword very rapidly became tens of thousands of bright, beautiful sword blurs as he fought against Zhang Tani's divine wood sword. Zhang Tani, you dared to kill my son. Hand your life over. Suddenly, another burst of limitless might was plucked from the ground. The head of the sword god Valley attacked. His hatred of Zhang Tiani had already entered his bones because his own son was killed by Zhang Tiani. Even when he dreamed, he wished to kill Zhang Tiani. Right now, Zhang Tiani appeared in front of him. Naturally, he could not control his own fury. With terrifying bloodlust as well as the aura of the fifth level of the heaven realm, he was aiming to dash into the circle of battle between Zhang Tiani and his own father. Whoosh, but before he neared Zhang Tiani, a beautiful figure stopped in front of him. It was Zi Ling. They are facing each other. What are you disturbing them for? Zi Ling was already covered by the purple-colored aura and horrifying divine body power was emitted. Although she still had a sweet smile, within her purple-colored pupils, killing intent was overflowing. Ah, and as he was hesitating, bursts of miserable cries rang out from the sword god valley. It was Chu Fong. The current Chu Fong was running straight towards the core of the sword god valley, because Chu Feng's families as well as the Azure Dragon School's seniors' remains were all at the core of the sword god valley. However, Chu Fong did not descend from the sky. He dashed to the bottom of the Sword God Valley, and as he ran, the people from the Sword God Valley were all mercilessly killed by him. Martial God Azura Chapter 450 Sword God Formation Although Chu Feng was only in the sixth level of the Profound Realm now, Egi was already in the ninth level of the Profound Realm. So, when Chu Feng borrowed Egi's power and overlaid the two lightning, his aura was of the first level of the Heaven Realm. His battle power was already overwhelming, now in addition to the Azura Ghost Axe, the elite armament that could recognize its master, his battle power was truly unstoppable. Even those in the fourth level of the Heaven Realm weren't necessarily able to defeat him. Ah. On the road, no matter if it was a disciple or elder, or even if someone in the Heaven Realm attacked, they were still unable to hold Chu Feng back. He was like a killing god as a path of blood was made from the slaughtering done in the sword god valley. At that instant, Chu Feng's anger truly burst straight into the sky. Especially when he saw his family's bones hung above the pool of crap, his anger was thoroughly ignited. But Chu Feng still had a clear target. He didn't overly slaughter. He ran straight at the heart of the sword god valley. What he needed to do first was to take down the bones, or else his heart would not be at ease. Damn it. This brat's speed is actually so quick. Seeing Chu Feng arrive at the core of the Sword God Valley in a blink, the expression of the head of the Sword God Valley who was still fighting against Zi Ling in the air changed. He quickly turned around and wanted to go down to stop Chu Feng. After all, Chu Feng and the others had the exquisite chariot and its speed was extremely fast. If Chu Feng successfully took away the bones then they escape, their losses would not be worth it. Besides, if he didn't attack Chu Feng, it was likely that in the Sword God Valley, there was truly no one who could defeat him. You are fighting against me yet dare to be distracted? You are truly looking to die. However, just at that time, Zi Ling's purple-colored aura was like a fierce wild beast as it surrounded the head of the Sword God Valley and started to attack him. How is this possible? 
This girl is only in the first level of the heaven realm. How can she have such terrifying power? At that instant, the head of the sword god Valley was instantly shocked. His pair of glittering eyes were filled with disbelief. It was because he had actually felt a fatal threat within the purple-colored aura. He could not resist against the purple-colored aura for long. If that continued, he would definitely be defeated by Zi Ling. Lord Father, save me! The head of the sword god Valley set off the strongest battle power in his body, used his strongest martial skills, and as he dealt with Zi Ling, he yelled loudly for help. What happening to that girl? What is that purple-colored aura? Seeing that, the face of the sword god Valley's old ancestor also changed greatly. But before he went over to give his assistance, his originally shocked complexion became even more shocked. When he turned his head around to look, he discovered that Zhang Tani's body was already all covered by blue-colored flames. Also, the aura of Zhang Tani, who was previously only able to tangle with him for a bit, was even more terrifying than his own. Old thing, if you don't open your sword god formation, don't blame me when I, Zhang Tiani, kill you in this place. Zhang Tiani explosively shouted, and with a smile, he held the divine wood sword and started extremely fierce attacks on the old ancestor of the sword god valley. At that instant, it was as if Zhang Tiani became another person. Before, when he exchanged blows with the old ancestor of the sword god valley, he was, at most, fairly equal. But at this very instant, he had already occupied an absolute advantage. Damn it. You three brats, are you even humans? Is it possible that you are all monsters in human form? The old ancestor of the sword god valley tightly furrowed his brows, but he no longer dared to have any trace of carelessness. Before, he only heard that Chu Feng was a monster who defied common sense but he never would have thought that Zi Ling and Zhang Tiani would also be similarly monster-like. Their battle power was simply unimaginable and surpassed logic. Look! The old ancestor of the Sword God Valley and the Valley Head have actually been suppressed by Zhang Tiani and Zi Ling. Heavens! I truly don't dare to believe this. An expert of the sixth level of the Heaven Realm is suppressed by a young man in the third level of the Heaven Realm. An expert of the fifth level of the heaven realm is suppressed by a young woman in the first level of the heaven realm. How are Zhang Tani and Zi Ling so strong? Impressive. If I didn't see this personally, I would simply not believe it. Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani. These three people are truly like monsters. No wonder they dared to fearlessly come to this place. So their strengths have really reached an overwhelming stage. Seeing that the shocking huge battle just starting in the air, and that Zhang Tiani and Zi Ling had the advantage and suppressed two characters who were undefeatable, it truly widened people's horizons and at the same time, they yelled out loudly satisfiedly. Because, they felt that they didn't waste the journey by coming here as they saw a battle that impossibly happened. No matter how fierce the rumors about Chu Feng were before, without personally seeing it, there was no way to experience that feeling. Right now, they finally put themselves on scene and saw Chu Feng's overwhelming battle power. Also, not only Chu Feng, Zhang Tiani, and Zi Ling were also similarly overwhelming. It caused them to feel very excited and felt that it was truly a trip that was worth it. Boom 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 boom. Ah. Valley Head, Ancestor, help us. Just as everyone cast their attention at the two great battles in the air, the painful cries in the Sword God Valley became louder and louder. Some people even started to loudly yell for help. At the same time, explosions and ripples started to endlessly come out from the center of the Sword God Valley. The center of the Sword God Valley was already a wasteland, and the area of the wasteland was still constantly increasing. Focusing their gazes and looking, they couldn't help but take a long gasp because the current Chu Feng already slaughtered his way to the center of the Sword God Valley. He took the bones of the Azure Dragon School seniors and his family all down from the high frames and put them in his cosmos sack. At the same time, Chu Feng was starting to greatly massacre. 
when the head of the sword god valley and the old ancestor of the sword god valley were being suppressed, there was no one who could stop Chu Feng. Even if there were over 10 million sword god valley elders and disciples, Chu Feng's might was still unstoppable. Like a killing god, he dashed into crowds of people and every single move and style would kill several people. He caused large areas of building to break and collapse, and his attacks were extremely ruthless. I've heard Chu Feng is cruel and heartless person and is the reincarnation of a killing god. Today, seeing this, it is indeed true. This decisive killing and completely merciless enemy slaughtering is something that we are unable to do even if we cultivate for dozens of years. Seeing that Chu Feng was truly starting a huge massacre, the faces of some aged experts of the old generation changed and they were not lightly frightened. If such a bloody scene was done by an adult, it was understandable, but when a young man had such a strong killing nature, it was more or less a bit scary. Quick. Quickly open the sword god formation. Finally, the old ancestor of the sword god valley spoke. In that situation, he had no choice but to open the sword god formation because if they didn't use their final trump card, their sword god valley was truly going to be exterminated by three young people in front of the powerful people who were witnessing it. Hmm. And just as the old ancestor of the sword god valley finished speaking, the entire sword god valley lit up with light and an extremely powerful aura was stirring up, as if a super strong expert was awaking. This feeling. This isn't a spirit formation that increases strength. It seems to be releasing something. At that instant, Chu Feng, who was located inside the Sword God Valley, tightly frowned. Quickly after, he leaped and had actually stopped killing. He dashed up to the sky and next to Ling. It was because as a world spiritist, he felt an unfavorable aura. The Sword God formation seemed to be different from their expectations. It wasn't for increasing the strengths of the Sword God Valley's elders and disciples. It was to release a certain living thing. Although there was no way to be sure what it was, Chu Feng could already feel that it was an extremely powerful existence. 630485BFB98C962D6C69 Chapter 450 Sword God Formation Although Chu Feng was only in the sixth level of the profound realm now, Egi was already in the ninth level of the profound realm. So, when Chu Feng borrowed Egi's power and overlaid the two lightning, his aura was at the first level of the heaven realm. His battle power was already overwhelming, now in addition to the Azura Ghost Axe, the elite armament that could recognize its master, his battle power was truly unstoppable. Even those in the fourth level of the heaven realm weren't necessarily able to defeat him. Ah. On the road, no matter if it was a disciple or elder, or even if someone in the heaven realm attacked, they were still unable to hold Chu Feng back. He was like a killing god as a path of blood was made from the slaughtering done in the sword god valley. At that instant, Chu Feng's anger truly burst straight into the sky. Especially when he saw his family's bones hung above the pool of crap, his anger was thoroughly ignited. But Chu Feng still had a clear target. He didn't overly slaughter. He ran straight at the heart of the Sword God Valley. What he needed to do first was to take down the bones, or else his heart would not be at ease. Damn it. This brat's speed is actually so quick. Seeing Chu Feng arrive at the core of the Sword God Valley in a blink, the expression of the head of the Sword God Valley, who was still fighting against Zi Ling in the air, changed. He quickly turned around and wanted to go down to stop Chu Feng. After all, Chu Feng and the others had the exquisite chariot and its speed was extremely fast. If Chu Feng successfully took away the bones then they escape, their losses would not be worth it. Besides, if he didn't attack Chu Feng, it was likely that in the Sword God Valley, there was truly no one who could defeat him. You are fighting against me yet dare to be distracted? You are truly looking to die. However, just at that time, Zi Ling's purple-colored aura was like a fierce wild beast as it surrounded the head of the Sword God Valley and started to attack him. How is this possible? This girl is only in the first level of the Heaven Realm. How can she have such terrifying power? At that instant, the head of the Sword God Valley was instantly shocked. 
his pair of glittering eyes were filled with disbelief. It was because he had actually felt a fatal threat within the purple-colored aura. He could not resist against the purple-colored aura for long. If that continued, he would definitely be defeated by Zi Ling. Lord Father, save me! The head of the sword god Bali set off the strongest battle power in his body, used his strongest martial skills, and as he dealt with Zi Ling, he yelled loudly for help. What happening to that girl? What is that purple-colored aura? Seeing that, the face of the sword god Bali's old ancestor also changed greatly. But before he went over to give his assistance, his originally shocked complexion became even more shocked. When he turned his head around to look, he discovered that Zhang Tani's body was already all covered by blue-colored flames. Also, the aura of Zhang Tani, who was previously only able to tangle with him for a bit, was even more terrifying than his own. Old thing, if you don't open your sword god formation, don't blame me when I, Zhang Tani, kill you in this place. Zhang Tani explosively shouted, and with a smile, he held the divine wood sword and started extremely fierce attacks on the old ancestor of the sword god Bali. At that instant, it was as if Zhang Tani became another person. Before, when he exchanged blows with the old ancestor of the sword god Bali, he was, at most, fairly equal. But at this very instant, he had already occupied an absolute advantage. Damn it. You three brats, are you even humans? Is it possible that you are all monsters in human form? The old ancestor of the sword god Valley tightly furrowed his brows, but he no longer dared to have any trace of carelessness. Before, he only heard that Chu Feng was a monster who defied common sense, but he never would have thought that Zi Ling and Zhang Tiani would also be similarly monster-like. Their battle power was simply unimaginable and surpassed logic. Look. The old ancestor of the sword god Valley and the Valley Head have actually been suppressed by Zhang Tiani and Zi Ling. Heavens! I truly don't dare to believe this. An expert of the sixth level of the Heaven Realm is suppressed by a young man in the third level of the Heaven Realm. An expert of the fifth level of the Heaven Realm is suppressed by a young woman in the first level of the Heaven Realm. How are Zhang Tiani and Zi Ling so strong? Impressive. If I didn't see this personally, I would simply not believe it. Chu Feng, Zi Ling, and Zhang Tani. These three people are truly like monsters. No wonder they dared to fearlessly come to this place. So their strengths have really reached an overwhelming stage. Seeing that the shocking huge battle just starting in the air, and that Zhang Tani and Zi Ling had the advantage and suppressed two characters who were undefeatable, it truly widened people's horizons and at the same time, they yelled out loudly satisfiedly. Because, they felt that they didn't waste the journey by coming here as they saw a battle that impossibly happened. No matter how fierce the rumors about Chu Feng were before, without personally seeing it, there was no way to experience that feeling. Right now, they finally put themselves on scene and saw Chu Feng's overwhelming battle power. Also, not only Chu Feng, Zhang Tani, and Zi Ling were also similarly overwhelming. It caused them to feel very excited and felt that it was truly a trip that was worth it. Boom 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 boom. Ah. Valley Head, Ancestor, help us. Just as everyone cast their attention at the two great battles in the air, the painful cries in the Sword God Valley became louder and louder. Some people even started to loudly yell for help. At the same time, explosions and ripples started to endlessly come out from the center of the Sword God Valley. The center of the Sword God Valley was already a wasteland, and the area of the wasteland was still constantly increasing. Focusing their gazes and looking, they couldn't help but take a long gasp because the current Chu Feng already slaughtered his way to the center of the Sword God Valley. He took the bones of the Azure Dragon School seniors and his family all down from the high frames and put them in his cosmos sack. At the same time, Chu Feng was starting to greatly massacre. When the head of the Sword God Valley and the old ancestor of the Sword God Valley were being suppressed, there was no one who could stop Chu Feng. Even if there were over 10 million Sword God Valley elders and disciples, Chu Feng's might was still unstoppable. 
Like a killing god, he dashed into crowds of people and every single move and style would kill several people. He caused large areas of building to break and collapse, and his attacks were extremely ruthless. I've heard Chu Feng is cruel and heartless person and is the reincarnation of a killing god. Today, seeing this, it is indeed true. This decisive killing and completely merciless enemy slaughtering is something that we are unable to do even if we cultivate for dozens of years. Seeing that Chu Feng was truly starting a huge massacre, the faces of some aged experts of the old generation changed and they were not lightly frightened. If such a bloody scene was done by an adult, it was understandable, but when a young man had such a strong killing nature, it was more or less a bit scary. Quick. Quickly open the sword god formation. Finally, the old ancestor of the sword god valley spoke. In that situation, he had no choice but to open the sword god formation because if they didn't use their final trump card, their sword god valley was truly going to be exterminated by three young people in front of the powerful people who were witnessing it. Hmm. And just as the old ancestor of the sword god valley finished speaking, the entire sword god valley lit up with light and an extremely powerful aura was stirring up, as if a super strong expert was awaking. This feeling. This isn't a spirit formation that increases strength. It seems to be releasing something. At that instant, Chu Feng, who was located inside the sword god valley, tightly frowned. Quickly after, he leaped and had actually stopped killing. He dashed up to the sky and next to Ling. It was because as a world spiritist, he felt an unfavorable aura. The sword god formation seemed to be different from their expectations. It wasn't for increasing the strengths of the sword god valley's elders and disciples. It was to release a certain living thing. Although there was no way to be sure what it was, Chu Feng could already feel that it was an extremely powerful existence, 